Are you subject to the small business regulation or also known as the Kleinunternehmer Regelung? Then stay with me, I'm gonna tell you five important things about the small business regulation. Hello, my name is Alejandro from Conte Steuerberatung and here I will tell you five things that you should know as a small business owner. First of all, you don't have to take advantage of it. When people start with their business, they always believe they have to be subject of the small business regulation, but the decision is up to you. If you want, you can be also subject to regular taxation, which is also known as Regelbesteuerung, and then you can pay VAT. Second, you have to submit a VAT return. It doesn't matter if you're a small business owner or subject to regular taxation, in both cases you have to submit a annual VAT return. If you are subject to the small business regulation, you don't have to make advanced VAT returns, which happens usually in the course of the year. This is something that only those who are subject to regular taxation have to do. Number three, it is not always the best choice for you. When people just start with their business, they believe that the small business regulation is the best choice for them. But honestly, it isn't always. Imagine you have a lot of expenses, especially high expenses when you start with your business. Let me give you an example. You buy a computer, it costs 1000 euros and you have to pay 119 euros in VAT, which is equivalent to 19%. If you're subject to the small business regulation, you cannot claim back the 119 euros, but if you are subject to the regular taxation, then you can get back these 119 euros. And this is actually very beneficial for you. If you suddenly earn more than 50,000 euros, then you will be suddenly charged with VAT retroactively for the whole year. This is not true. You have to keep in mind two thresholds. The first one is the threshold of 22,000 euros for the previous year and 50,000 euros for the next year, but 50,000 euros anticipated at the beginning of the year. Even though if you exceed the threshold, you will still remain as a small business owner for the rest of the year. Only starting from the next year, then you will be switched to regular taxation. So therefore, there will be no changes made in the middle of the year. And number five, Reverse charge cases. What does reverse charge actually mean? It means that services that you receive from some business partner that is located in the European Union will be taxed not in their respective country, but it will be taxed in Germany. Let me give you an example. You are a content creator on Instagram and you pay 1000 euros for advertisement. Instagram is owned by Facebook. Facebook is headquartered in Ireland. So therefore you will be not charged with Irish VAT, but with German VAT, which which will be then 190 euros. And in this unique case, you have to submit a quarterly VAT return for all the services that you receive from a country from the European Union. The only exception, I promise. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope you could understand the small business regulation a bit better. If you still have any further questions, just drop a comment below. If you're looking for a tax advisor who will help you with the taxes, then we might be a good choice for you if you are a freelancer. If you want more information, then just click here on our offer. If you want to watch some more interesting videos about taxes, click here or click here.